Camp Meeting 2023, Mark and Trina invite you to celebrate 50 years of ministry. Save the date June 27 through 29 in Alexandria, Louisiana. We have a power-packed lineup of speakers, including Reverend Patsy Caminetti, Reverend Ted Shuttlesworth Jr., music with Ray Jean Wilson, and much more. This is a life-changing experience for the whole family. Please join us June 27th through 29th. Register today at markhankins.org. It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. In Christ. Actually, the two words in Christ literally are blood covenant terminology. Hallelujah. Blood covenant terminology. Through the power of the blood of Jesus. You're a new creature in Christ. You've been made the righteousness of God in Christ. Amen? So Paul said, I'm a happy man. Something happened on the road to Damascus that this Jesus that died on the cross is not dead. He is alive. Paul said, I met him and turned his whole life around. He said, now I have a whole new identity. I'm now who God says I am. I'm a new creature in Christ. There's actually 130 in Christ scriptures. Now, when I was 17 years old, my dad, four deacons, came and got me out of jail. And preacher's kids have trouble because they hang out with deacon's kids. So, Dad Hagen had come to my church. Even Pastor Hagen had come before. And so, Dad Hagen, I'm just 17 years old, and Dad Hagen wasn't real cool. He didn't have the latest hairdo. He didn't have no skinny jeans on. You know, they can cut off the circulation to your brain if you get to wear them too long. But... He just came teaching the Word. And he said, there's many ways you can study the Bible or study the New Testament. And while I was raised in Sunday school, so we studied all the Bible stories. He said, there's many ways. He said, but the way I recommend the most is to go through Paul's letters. Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Colossians, all of Paul's letters. I like what P.C. Nelson and James Stalker said about Paul's letters. He said, Paul's letters contain the thoughts that Jesus carried away from this world unuttered. They are the advanced teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me try that one more time. Paul's letters, Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Colossians, come on, these letters contain the thoughts that Jesus had to carry away from this world unuttered. You say, what do you mean? Jesus said in John 16, I have many things to tell you that I cannot tell you now. He said, you couldn't handle it now. He said, but when the spirit of truth is come, when the Holy Spirit come, thank God for the Holy Spirit. He said, when the Holy Spirit come, Amen. He's going to move on the inside of you, and he's going to teach you. He's going to show you. He's going to guide you. Listen, and one translation calls him the spirit of truth and calls him the spirit of reality. In other words, the Holy Spirit's job is to take everything Christ has done for us and make it a reality in us. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, you can have theology everywhere, Bible verses everywhere, and come on and still be defeated. But the moment the Spirit of God, come on, works in your heart, the reality of your redemption, the reality of your healing, the reality of your blessing, thank God for the Holy Ghost. The great thing about the Holy Spirit is, is he can uh, actually custom teach you 
Amen. In other words, the way you can get it. If you're a slow learner, the Holy Spirit will say, let me tell you this another way. Until you go, ah. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Come on, he's your best friend. My daddy always said the Holy Spirit's a genius. If you'll listen to him, he'll make you look smart. We know you're not that smart, but you've got a genius living on the inside of you. He knows everything. He knows your future. He knows your destiny. He knows the Word of God. He knows what Jesus meant when he said. Come on, and he can show you the things of Christ. The Holy Spirit's in show business. Come on, the moment you open your Bible, the Holy Spirit say, let me show you something. <laughs> so I said, some, some people read their Bible in Greek, some people read it in Hebrew. He said, I'll read it in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. So let's look at this real quickly here. This new creature, there's 130, but there's really about 35 significant in Christ scriptures. And the two words in Christ, actually most uh, Bible scholars say, don't mess with the two words because they're a technical term in Paul's letters. Actually, Dad Hagen told us, 17 years old, he said every time you read through Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Colossians, he said every time you see the two words in Christ, circle or underline those two words. Because that is describing something you are and something you have because you are now in Christ. Amen. So there's at least 35 really significant ones. So uh, Galatians 2.20, your identification with Christ. But uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17, a new creature, a new creation in Christ. And 2 Corinthians 5.21, that you've been made the righteousness of God in Christ. The righteousness of God. I remember Dad Hagen teaching on that. You're the righteousness of God in Christ. And we really knew all the Bible verses and knew all the Bible stories. But when he said you're the righteousness of God in Christ, that means we have right standing with God. We're accepted by God, pleasing to God, approved of by God. And we've been given the same identical righteousness that Jesus had. That adds boldness to your faith. In other words, you're no longer struggling to be accepted by God. You have now entered into the gift of righteousness that Jesus gives to you. Even if you don't feel like it. Come on, you say, that's what I got, that's who I am. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ. Amen? Oh, there's some other good ones. You want a couple more? I'll give you a couple more before we move on. How about 2 Corinthians 2.14 was always my favorite in Christ scripture. It says, now thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ and makes manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. In other words, here's the apostle Paul. He said, in Christ, I always triumph. In other words, he said, I win all the time. And he said, and I win every place. In Christ, because, you know, I just don't like losing. Anybody here like losing? I don't like losing. Come on. And in Christ, he said, you are victorious in every situation. Didn't mean he didn't have adversity. He just said, now thanks be unto God who always causes me to triumph. One translation says, I'm constantly celebrating the triumph of Christ. In him. There's no situation that you cannot triumph in. That's the celebration after the battle has already been won. You want another one? Oh, I got another one, a real good one here. Woo, all right, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. Are you ready for this one? But of God are you in Christ who has made unto you wisdom, righteousness, and sanctification and redemption. In other words, in Christ, he has been made unto you what? Wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. You want another one? Ah, one of my favorites, Romans chapter 8, verse 2. says, for the law of the spirit of life 
in Christ has made me free from the law of sin and death. In other words, the moment you get in Christ, there's a law of the spirit of life in Christ that lifts you out of the law of sin and death. He describes how that law works in the whole chapter of Romans chapter 8. In other words, there's other laws been governing your life, but the law of the spirit of life in Christ lifts you out of the other thing. All right, let's look at one more. Maybe not just one more. Colossians chapter 1, verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father who has qualified and enabled us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and he hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in him in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the remission and the forgiveness of sins. Smith Wigglesworth said, there's not one thing in me the blood does not cleanse. That the blood of Jesus, come on, has opened heaven. It reaches into your heart. It reaches into the fabric of your conscience and your personality. It silences the voice of self-condemnation, removes guilt and shame, and declares now your conscience must bear witness that you are 100% righteous because of the blood of Jesus. You have a hard time being depressed. All right, let me give you another one real quickly here. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 3 says, For in him are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In other words, the moment you get to be in Christ, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are in him, hidden in him. I like to say it this way. God's treasures or his wisdom or his knowledge or revelation knowledge that you can steal information, but you can never steal revelation. That God's kingdom system of revelation has never been hacked. Come on, the most secure systems of information in the world have been broken into and been hacked, but God's kingdom system has never been hacked. That means if you got in, you were granted access. And the moment you are granted access into the realm of God's knowledge and information and revelation and mysteries, come on, you can download divine secrets concerning your life, your destiny, how stuff works the moment you get to be in Christ. Revelation knowledge, I kind of like to, while you're feeding on the word, the scriptures on who you are in Christ, I kind of like to use the illustration about one of our presidents who said he, he smoked marijuana, but he did not inhale. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, I guess they're passing around some marijuana, and he just kind of took a little smoke, and he held it in his mouth. Other people were inhaling. They're getting the full benefit. <laughs> it's illegal anyway, but he's holding his mouth. He's like... I thought that's what happens in church all the time. You're preaching the word, and there's some people, they do take it, but they will not inhale. They're like, praise the Lord, that's good. But if you ever receive that as revelation knowledge, come on now, the word. Come on, go to your brain, change your mind, change your thinking, change your attitude. Come on, we'd meditate on who you are in Christ. Come on. And we'd get high, baby. We're like, ma. You say, how, how did you get? Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 through 6. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, he made us alive together with Christ and hath raised us up together with him and made us sit down together with him. Ha ha! Come on, you cannot fight the fight of faith down here. You got to take your place in Christ and say, now I'm not trying to get the victory. Jesus got the victory. I'm fighting from up here. (laughs) 
I jumped to Ephesians chapter 1 real quickly. I'm going as fast as I can. Some of y'all listening slow, so it's taking me a little longer. Ephesians chapter 1. Here's the prayer. Ephesians 1. <laughs> Somebody said, what you laughing about? You say, I just got hooked up with the most high. I mean, I'm like. My friends from Nigeria, some of them watching here and some of them are here. Uh, Miko back there and Tokes up here and some friends from Nigeria. Well, I, I went and preached in Nigeria years ago and Matt Beamer and they're doing a great work with Rama there. And so I went over there and preached and I talked about the first time that I, uh, I ate wasabi. <laughs> I mean, you don't, in Texas, you don't eat, you know, Japanese or Chinese food. You eat barbecue, you know, hamburgers. So the first time somebody gave me some wasabi, a little pile of green stuff, and they said, you need to watch out for that green stuff. I said, I'm not afraid of that. That ain't nothing to do with a little thing like that. I said, I, I'm from Texas. We eat jalapeno pepper. <laughs> they said, well, I'm telling you to watch out. I said, no, no. So I just took that green stuff. Got a big dose of it, come on. Put it in my mouth. Oh, and in about three seconds. The name wasabi was all different to me. When I went, wasabi. In other words, something happened. That green stuff literally went straight to my head. I thought my head was going to explode. Come on, I thought the top of it's coming off. And I went, ah. Wasabi. I don't know how it knows to go to your head. Come on. Why don't it go to your knee or to your elbow? But it goes right to your head. Wasabi. But one time I was meditating on Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 through 6. Made alive together with Christ. Raised up together with him. Seated together with him. And the word, come on, the living word. The Holy Spirit, come on now. That living word hit me right in my head. When it hit me in my head, I went, wasabi. In other words, come on, the word of God is powerful. When you receive that word and meditate on that word, it is able to save your soul, change your mind, change your personality. Come on, everything changes with the reality of who you are in Christ. Come on, there's no mountain that won't move. Every mountain has to move. Wasabi. What's happening? You start to meditate on who you are in Christ, and the Holy Spirit will paint the picture of the reality of who you are in Christ. You are not who your past made you. You're not who your mama made you. You're not who your mistakes made you. You're redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Come on, you're a new creature in Christ. Not just a forgiven sinner. Come on, you're not just trying to serve the Lord. A new creature, a new kind of creature. Somebody said, what, what did the devil see on the day of Pentecost? I mean, he's having trouble with just one Jesus. What did he see on the day of Pentecost when the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead got in 120 disciples and got in 3,000? Come on now. It's no longer I that live. It is Christ that lives on the inside of me. Come on, and the devil knows if you know. Hallelujah. Paul's letters contain the thoughts that Jesus carried away from this world unuttered. Come on, I went to Bible college for four years and, and we studied 
We studied Ephesians and Romans and Corinthians, and we studied it from who it was written to, what year it was written, you know, the city and all that stuff. All of that's very nice. I said, that's all nice until you get revelation knowledge. And you say, that ain't Paul just talking to somebody in Corinth or somebody in Ephesus. He's God talking to me, the Spirit of God talking to me. Come on, I'm getting the wasabi effect in my house, in my living room. Come on, Jesus is alive. His Word is alive. You meditate on who you are in Christ. Meeting 2023, Mark and Trina invite you to celebrate 50 years of ministry. Save the date June 27 through 29 in Alexandria, Louisiana. We have a power-packed lineup of speakers, including Reverend Patsy Caminetti, Reverend Ted Shuttlesworth Jr., music with Ray Jean Wilson, and much more. This is a life-changing experience for the whole family. Please join us June 27th through 29th. Register today at markhankins.org. You are watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Jesus did not go through the agony of the death, burial, and resurrection to help us just a little bit. What happened from the cross to the throne in those three days changed everything. God wants you to understand who you are and what you have now in Christ. God is planting a whole new crop of righteousness, wisdom, redemption, sanctification, blessing, joy, and victory on the inside of you. Put on the new man by declaring who you are in Christ. Mark Hankins' book, The Power of Identification with Christ, is just for you. You have a supernatural identity. You must have a change of identity to reach your divine destiny. With the spirit of wisdom and revelation, God will show you who you are in Christ. When you order this book as a bonus, we will send you the four CD set in Christ. This changes everything. When we see what God has done for us in Christ, the reality of redemption will swallow up all our former identities. Everything Jesus did, he did it for you. Get the book and CD set today. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. Your Love C will also help us complete our new Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. This conference center will help us distribute the word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. When you sow into someone's needs, your needs are met. When you sow into someone's dream, your dreams will come to pass. For your gift of any amount, you will receive the book, The Power of Identification with Christ and the four CD set, In Christ This Changes Everything. Please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you so much for joining us for the program today. We trust that you were so blessed and you received so much revelation from the message that my dad shared. I know I'm always so blessed by everything that he preaches and teaches us comes from a well of revelation. And I'm so glad to get to be a part of listening to that. My parents wanna make sure that you also get that opportunity, not only just tuning in, but also getting this by way of book into your home. We wanna get this book to you for your gift of any amount. And what's so awesome about your gift of any amount is that it's gonna to go toward the, the finishing of Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. It's exciting at what God is doing with Mark Hankins Ministry, getting this conference center up and going. We are super excited about it, and we wanna make sure that you get to be a part of that. So for your gift of any amount, you can call the number on the screen, or you can go to markhankins.org, and we will get this message to you. I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Have a great day. We wanna thank all the
uh, Mark and Trina Hankins Ministries partners. Amen. You have made this ministry possible. Praise the and Lord. And the word is working mightily here. Thank you. Thank you. For over five decades, our desire has been to teach foundational biblical truths to believers around the world. Now, like never before, we see an acceleration of that assignment and are determined to take the message of faith to as many nations possible, seeing lives, churches, and nations transformed by the Word of God. We've been to over 50 countries and have ministered the Word and the Holy Spirit in conferences, churches, and Bible schools. Some of these places we go to again and again, and the seed of the Word is still growing today. Our assignment is to distribute the word on every avenue possible, broadcasting on TV, websites, social media, the app, and through publishing our books and CDs. We know if we do our part, God will do his part and make sure the word lands at the right place at the right time. In the last days, the printed page will be the most effective distribution of the gospel. The stories of people receiving our books in remote places around the world fuels our vision to do what the Lord has called us to do. People are receiving our books deep in the heart of Africa, Vietnam, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Iran, and Pakistan, and so many other places. Our books are currently translated in many languages and distributed in even more countries. Our vision is to have our books translated into a hundred different languages. Getting the written word in the hands of pastors and believers around the world is paramount to igniting the faith of generations to come. The books can go much further than we can, Partners, we ask you to continue to stand and believe with us that the Lord will continue to open the doors to new countries for our books to be distributed. Not only have we seen the faithfulness of God in the distribution of the books, but the television and media ministry has also accelerated as we recently launched out into daily television. We are now on the Victory Channel, VTN, and the Word Network and are reaching a potential of 150 million homes worldwide. We desire to continue distributing the Word more efficiently. One way we are doing this is through building our brand new Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. This conference center will help us minister the word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. We're also streaming our In Christ International Bible College around the world via Facebook and YouTube. This allows anyone in any country to catch the spirit of faith and study the word at their convenience. With the advances of modern technology, the supernatural acceleration and the new open doors, we are reaching more people today than ever before. And that's because of you. It's because of our partners that we're able to accomplish the assignment God has for us. When everyone pulls together, we will see amazing things happen for the kingdom of God. We thank you for your continued partnership. We could not do what we're doing without our partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.